This is an update in regards to the Sweet Baby controversy. Now, this particular article says responding to Gamergate 2, and the article was actually written down on March the 11th, 2024, by the website Take This. It says right here, if you're reading this, you're probably be hearing about what's been called Gamergate 2. It is the latest target harassment campaign within the game industry and its aim as Sweet Baby Incorporated, a Montreal-based narrative development studio. The campaign also has been impacting entities and games associated with Sweet Baby, journalists covering the issues and others associated in various ways with the targets. You may also be at loss on how they talk about this issue and what, if anything, you can do about this. Now, first and foremost, this article, together with PC Gamer, together with Kotaku, and other kind of websites, failed to mention that the main reason why this whole entire controversy started to begin with is because the employees of Sweet Baby actually were the ones that initiated the harassment. Now, here is direct proof right here. Now, this guy right here is Chris Kendrick. He is the one who was like one of two people that started the harassment. It says right here that the creator of the harassment group for Sweet Baby Incorporated, Detected, is hosted by this person. Here is them trying to be slick so that don't get reported. Even the discriminatory language filed off, the group itself fails to have the code of conduct. Anyway, report the fuck out of this group and report the creator since he loves his account so much. Now, because of people like him who were part of Sweet Baby Incorporated, that's why we have the backlash right now because basically they're trying to shut down a group for the crime of having a list of games. If you are not necessarily ashamed of having a list of games, why exactly would you target a group on Steam? That does not make any sort of sense to me at all. But the article continues to say that Discourse, Steam, and X have been the prominent platforms where the abuse and harassment has been taking place. And these spaces, lists of game studios, companies, and associate organizations are being calculated by targeting by members of the mob. Large-scale harassment campaigns like this fuel and are fueled by political events. <laughs> political events? Like, <laughs> you really think that the backlash against Sweet Baby is because of somebody like Donald Trump? No, like... <laughs> Like, I don't think, I mean, sure, there might be some people that might be political, but not every single person who are against, like, the whole entire harassment campaign that was done by Sweet Baby must be political by association. But not just that. But we also have evidence that basically when it comes down to the discourse, that there were actually people on the discourse that talked about Sweet Baby that actually were being harassed by this one person. And so, again, <laughs> there's like no such evidence for these kind of claims. Zero such <laughs> evidence but for these claims whatsoever. Now, when I look into like, you know, more details in regards to this particular organization, it seems as though that is also being used directly for like our tax money. And it says right here, like basically that there are five one um, was a 5101 nonprofit organization providing like comprehensive resources and support that is tailored for the unique needs for the game development community, embrace other cultures and issues of the game community. Now this is again sponsored directly by the whole entire case of the United States, uh, what was it, Department of Security. So basically what we have right here is like a U.S like an entity right here funding all this kind of stuff not to mention there's actually like a note that was done directly by one of the guys at Sweet Baby Incorporated where he states right there for the past four months my company has been targeted by a far right harassment campaign <laughs> oh my god 
<laughs> of course, it's always far right. Always far right. This is a tough situation for me. My co-founder, our entire teams are collaborators, more than the frustrations caused by the harassment and the precautions that were taking place as a result of that. The toughness come in the fact that this entire campaign is based upon misinformation. No, this whole entire campaign is started because of you guys. It started because of you guys. You're the guys are the ones <laughs> behind the whole entire campaign right here. I guess there are some other things that I need to talk about when it when it comes down to like this issue. Again, this was fun directed by the United States Homeland Security. So our tax dollars are being used <laughs> directly from this article. Now some of the people right here are actually those that actually were part of the industry. Like this is like the director of the G4 relaunch, right? And they're also localizer. She was also like a this person right here is like a writer of the critical role the call of the Nether Deep and some other games like the partnership with the Wizards of the Coast. Now this one is also like a another person right here who was also a gamer gator who was also taking taking part of this. And so this also is like a person that was part of Microsoft, Bioware and Google and Amazon and all these other kind of social media sites. Two are like from like you know Bethesda right here. So that's the update right now, and it seems as though <laughs> that they're using like our tax money to basically talk about this. That is crazy. 